Hi there, welcome to tutorial 5 which will be a lesson on the bin packing algorithms required in the Edexcel Decision 1 Maths course. Again, this work should be applicable to most other Decision Maths A-level modules. As always, if you need further help with your math studies, GCSE or A-level, see my YouTube site at Hegarty Maths or my website. Okay, let's go straight on to what Edexcel require us to know. Now, everything in green is what we've done in the previous tutorials. Next, we need to do what's called the bin packing algorithm. So that's what we're going to focus on um, today. And then we will have everything done in the first section of Edexcel on algorithms complete. Okay, well, what is a bin packing algorithm? Well, it's fitting things neatly and efficiently into a larger container. For example, trying to fit maybe cars into a ferry, for example. Or here's another example here. If you had six groups of people of group sizes 3, 1, 6, 4, 5 and 2, and you needed to fit them onto minibuses that each had a capacity of 7, and each of the groups must stay in their groups, how many minibuses would you need to pack them inefficiently and so that each group stays together? That's another type of uh, problem we'll solve. So the bin packing algorithms um, help us solve these in fairly neat ways. Okay, so four things we need to know about bin packing algorithms. We need to know how to find the lower bound for a problem, how to perform the first fit algorithm, how to perform the first fit decreasing algorithm, and how to before, perform full bin packing. So four things we need to know. And they usually come up in the same uh, question, just different parts. So best way to do this is with the example of the people trying to get on the uh, minibuses. So there are six group of people, sizes three, one, six, four, five, and two, and they've got to get onto some minibuses that each have capacity seven. The groups have to stay together, what's the number of minibuses you need to pack them efficiently. Okay, so I've drawn a diagram of this and I'm going to start off by trying to work out what the lower bound of this problem is, i.e. what's the minimum number of minibuses I need. Well, to do this is simple. I add up how many people I've got. I add up 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5 and plus 2. If I add all those up, 4, 10, 14, 19, 21. So I've got 21 people to fit into minibuses the size of uh, 7. So 21 divided by 7 is 3, and 3 is our lower bound. Now, we don't know 3 is an answer to this problem. 3 minibuses may be not enough to fit uh, the people in so that they all stay in their groups. But we know 3 is the best it could possibly be. Okay, 3 is the best it could possibly be. Okay, that's how you work out lower bounds. Your total number divided by the size of your container. So that's your lower bound. May or may not be a solution. Okay, let's go on to applying the first fit algorithm. Now the first fit algorithm is simple. It says take the groups as they come and try and fit them in the minibuses where there are space. So that three people fits there. This one person would fit there. Now these six people would not fit in the space left in the first money bus, so they'd have to go to the second. These four people would not fit on the space uh, for uh, either of these two spaces up here, so they'd have to go in their own space down here. These five people would not fit here, 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 they'd have to go here. And these two people, would they fit anywhere? Well, yes, they'd fit on the first uh, minibus as such. So using the first fit, we got an answer that we need one, two, three, four minibuses. We needed four minibuses. And there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven spaces left. Okay, and that's the first fit. Not a particularly good solution to this, given that we knew the, that three minibuses was the lower bound. I wonder if we can get closer to that. Well, let's have a go at the first fit decreasing algorithm. What this says is, the very first thing you do is you put them in order from biggest to smallest. Okay, so the six would be the first, then the five, then the, then the four, 
okay, then the three, then the two, and then the one. So you would put them in order as such, okay? You would put them in the order, not as given to you in the question, but in six, five, four, three, two, one. And now you would pack them uh, as they come up in the ordered list. So these six would go into the first available space here. These five would go into the first available space here. These four would could not go here nor here. They'd have to go here. Now these three couldn't go here, here, but they could go there. These two uh, couldn't go here, couldn't could go here, so they'd go there. And this one here would go here. So this produced a much better answer. This required three minibuses. Okay and no space. And this is an optimal solution because it's equal to the lower bound, so it's also optimal. And the first fit, therefore, was better than, uh, first fit decreasing was better than the first fit in this case. Okay, lastly, what's the full bin packing about? Well, that just says, arrange things into the size of your container. Try and make things work. So this three, you could marry it with that four, to get a seven. That one, you could marry it with that six to get a seven. And that two, you could marry it with that five to get a seven. So firstly, try and arrange them so that they fit exactly in your boxes and then just put them into the containers. So again, in this case here, we ended up with um, three minibuses. Okay, no space and it was minimal because it was equal to the lower bound, which was excellent. Okay, and there, the ideas behind um, the lower bound, okay, the first fit algorithm, the first fit decreasing, and the full uh, bin packing algorithms. Okay, now let's do an actual written example so we can see how we're gonna write this. Um, I'm gonna go through this example with each case, the lower bound, the um, first fit, the first fit decreasing, and the full uh, fit. So a plumber is using lengths of pipe 12 feet long and wishes to cut these lengths. We're going to work out the lower bound here. Okay, so he's using pipes of uh, 12 feet long and wishes to cut these lengths. Um, so, uh, how much do we need? Well, we need 2 of length 2, so we need 2 times 2 is 4. We need uh, 4 of length 3, so we need 4 times 3 is 12. We need 3 of length 4, so 3 times 4 is 12. And we need 1 of length uh, 6, so 1 times 6 is 6. And we need 2 of length 14, so 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, if we add those up, the total uh, length of pipes we need is 4, add uh, 12 is 16, add another 12 is 28, add another 6 is uh, 34, and add another 14 is uh, 48. So in total we need 48, and we want to, uh, we're cutting it from pipes that are 12 feet long, so in total we're thinking that the lower bound would be uh, four pipes of 12 long. So four pipes of 12 would give us the 48 we need, okay, if we could cut it exactly. Okay, so that's our lower bound then, four pipes. Now let's move on to the same question, but let's uh, work out this problem using the first fit algorithm. Okay, so, uh, here are the lengths we want to cut. We want to cut uh, two uh, twos, we want to cut four threes, we want to cut three fours, we want to cut one six, and we want to cut two sevens, okay? And we want to fit them into pipes that are 12 long, okay? So, this two here could fit in here. This two here could fit in here. This three could fit easily, and we've got a total of seven so far. 
this 3 could fit here. Now, we've got 10. This 3 could no longer fit here and would so have to go into this one. This 3 would therefore go into this one. This 4 would go into this one with it. And then we would uh, have this 4 here. Now, it couldn't go over here because we've already got 10, so it would have to go into another one. So 4 would go there. Another 4 would go with it. And that would give us 8. 6 could not go there. It would make it too big. So the 6 would have to go here. Um, 7 uh, could not go in it, okay, because that would make it 13. So there would be a 7 here, and the other one would be a 7 here, okay? So here's our solution with the first fit algorithm. What we're saying is we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, we need 6 pipes, and the wastage we would have, well, here we only managed 10. Here we managed uh, 10, so we wasted 2, wasted 2, wasted 4, wasted um, 6, uh, wasted uh, 5, wasted 5. So we've got a lot of wastage here, 2, 4, 8, 14, uh, 19, and 24. So 24 uh, feet wasted. Okay, so that's the solution we're getting here with uh, the first fit, which is not very good. Okay, let's have a go at this question now with the first fit decreasing. Okay, so we said these were our numbers first of all. We had two twos, we had uh, four threes, so three, 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 three. We had three fours, so four, four, four. We had one six, and we had two sevens. Now, the first stage was to put them into decreasing order. So put them as 7, 7, 6, 4, 4, 4, 3, 3, 3, 3, and finally two twos. Okay, so put them in decreasing order and try and do it then. So with the first 12, we would put in a 7, okay, and we've done that. With the next one, we would put in a 7, because it wouldn't fit in the first. The next one, we'd put a 6 because it wouldn't fit in the other two. But then this 4, well, where could this 4 go? This 4 would go in the first available. This 4 would go in the first available. This 4 would go in the first available. Now, this 3 here wouldn't go in any of the availables here. So this 3 would go in its own, as would this 3, as would, as would this 3, and as would this 3. And then this two could fit very nicely here. And this last two, well, there's no space for it in any of these two because that would uh, make it 13. So there would be a two left over here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five um, pipes. And the wastage, well, the wastage here was one. Wastage here was one. There was no wastage here. Uh, and there was no wastage here. But the wastage here was 10. So we've got um, 12 uh, feet of wastage. Okay, so just comparing that to the other one, uh, we needed six pipes and we had 24 feet of wastage. Here, we've got five pipes and 12 feet wasted. So uh, significantly better. Okay, last one, we're going to try the full uh, bin packing algorithm. Now, remember, we've got two twos, uh, four, th uh, four threes, Um, we've also got uh, three fours, and we've got one six, and we've got um, two sevens. Now the thing with this is to try and pair them so they make up 12. Now, seven uh, at, goes with um, a three and a two to make 12. So seven, three, and two make a 12. And then a seven... 3 and another 2, 7, 3 and another 2, make another 12. Okay? Now, uh, 4, 4 and 4 make a 12. Okay? And uh, 3, 3 and 6 also make a 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, we've got 4 pipes and we've got no wastage at all.
okay? And we found a way using the full bin uh, packing method of just packing them slightly better. So let's compare all the different versions. The lower bound told us that four pipes could be needed, okay? The first fit, well, we used six pipes and we wasted 24 feet. The first fit decreasing was better, five, five pipes and 12 feet wasted. But the full bin packing method used exactly four pipes with no wastage, and we know this is optimal, okay, because it equals the lower bound. Now we've worked through those examples, I just want to point out to you the advantages and disadvantages of the three different methods of bin packing. So we need to know this for the exam. So the first fit, what was good about the first fit? Well, it was quick and easy to perform. Unfortunately, that was about it. We did not often get an optimal solution. We tended to get quite bad answers from that. So that's its downside. The first fit decreasing, well, what was good about that? Well, again, it was quick and easy to perform. All we had to do was put the numbers in order first, and then uh, it was the same as the one above. Over and above that, it did tend to get a better solution than the simple first fit, so that was very good. However, um, it did not always get us an optimal solution. There were times where it didn't give us a great solution, so that's a problem for it. And the full bin packing method, well, what's good about that well, we tended to get very good solutions out of that, which is good. However, it can be a very difficult one to perform, especially if there are lots of numbers or the numbers are awkward. Okay, So that detracts from its use if, if it's a difficult algorithm to perform. So please make sure you know these for the exam, as well as each of the methods, their advantages and disadvantages. Okay, we'll finish then where you do an example uh, working through the different algorithms for bin packing. Okay, so I'll show you the example, you pause the video, you have an attempt, and then you mark your work against mine at the end. So here we go, I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds. Pause the video. So here are my answers I got. For the lower bound here, when you add it all up and divide by um, the 400 KB on each disk, you get 3.95. So uh, it's a total of the lower bound could be 4. Okay. When I applied the first fit algorithm to the ordered list, okay, so the list as it was there, um, I got the following. On disk 1, 380, disk 2, 400, disk 3, 370, and disk 4, 390 and there was 40 KB uh, a program was left off. When I applied the first fit decreasing, I got 400, 400, 395, 385. Okay, and when I just looked for combinations that added to 400, I got the first three disks adding to 400 and the last disk adding to 380. So at least the wasted space was on one disk. So it's slightly better than the first fit decreasing where there's a bit of wasted space on disk three and on disk four. Okay, and that's it for the um, uh, fitting algorithms. So what I'd like you to do for your homework is read through chapter 1, page 17 to 20, just to consolidate the knowledge and work through the examples. Do exercise 1E, questions 1 and 2, um, and that would be um, on page 21. So that's on page 21. And lastly, do the past paper uh, questions, video 5, on the uh, past exam questions that have come up on the bin packing, just to consolidate your knowledge from an exam point of view. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it useful in your revision. Please tune in for the next one.